Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Retief. and tonight we are going to France and we are looking at the Armoric Braise um, as you might have seen from my pre previous videos I did some and I will put the link in the description so that you can have a look fantastic whiskies from France so um, I was encouraged to um, look for some more um, it is not just one bottle that they make they make quite a number of bottles but what I also saw online is that um, they also have different bottles but um, some of them are from the old core range um, the bottle that I picked up and I'll put a photo on it um, it is uh, quite an old bottle um, they don't um, sell it, uh, the old bottles on the distillery anymore so I found this at my local store that sent me a generous sample so this is the Armoric Braise it's a French blended whiskey and of course Braise is the name that they use for Britain uh, in the designated Brittany so um, Tonight I'm just going to give it a quick little bit of a pour. I'm going to give it a taste. I'm going to talk about the color. I'm going to talk about the finish. And I'm going to give my thoughts on it. So it is uncolored from what I could find. Not a lot of information. As I said on the uh, website, they don't even mention this bottle anymore. So you're going to have to go look somewhere else to get your information from it is matured in ex bourbon cask it is um, a natural color it is chill filtered at uh, bottled at 42 percent abv it is a, um, a blended uh, whiskey and produced from 50 percent grain and 50 percent malt and um, they also have the, a newer one that is a little bit a different ratio of a grain of 35% and a malted barley of 65%. So this one is a 50-50 of uh, malted barley and 50% uh, grain. So on the nose, cheers. Now... This is now my second time that I've tried it. I tried a little bit earlier. And um, with the first pour, I did not get a lot on the nose. It was almost nothing on the nose. But a little bit of time in the glass and things started opening up. It is only 42%, but it did need a little bit of time in the glass. So the first thing that I do get is a nice light floral citrus note so if you're a little combination of all the type of citrus citrus fruits that you put cut open put it on the table and you get the different notes coming out from the different citrus fruits lovely on the nose a little bit of hint of extra uh, lemon coming out and then i also get a little bit of a fresh sweet pear note coming out and a little bit of a licorice note now for me um, it's a, um, a difference between a little bit of a licorice sweet or a licorice all sorts um, but I also I had in my cupboard I had a, a, the licorice powder and I, I just went to make sure. So I gave it a, a little bit of a nose in the powder. So much similar to that. So it's not a sweet licorice. But you do get a little bit of a licorice root. Especially in the powder form. A really, really nice. And then I also get a little bit of a, um, a herbal a note. And it reminds me a little bit of a... Uh, basil or basil um, and it is but it's not overpowering it is just a little green note that you get on the nose vanilla of 
quite a lot of vanilla as well. And the, the sweetness is there, but it's a hint of sweetness. And for me, there's a little bit of a pattern developing. There's a hint of everything, a hint of the licorice, a hint of the basil, a hint of the vanilla, a hint of a sweetness, um, and a little bit of a hint of a caramel. And the last thing that I also get is a little bit of a hint of a red apple. So, um, quite nice, quite pleasant, and quite balanced on the nose. Really, really nice. Even if you stick your nose into it, agitated, 42%, I don't get much of the alcohol. Really pleasant on the nose. But of course, we need to drink it as well. So on the taste, cheers. It is nice. There's a sweetness to it, but it is not overly sweet. So it's definitely not a sugar uh, type of sweetness, more like a, 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 a fruity type of sweetness, but not overly sweet. It does feel a little bit thin to me, um, a little bit watered down, which was a little bit surprised. I think if I have left it or maybe of 46%, I think it would have been a much better one. But it is definitely uh, feels a little bit watered down for me. But still quite pleasant. Mm. But it is nice. A little bit of oak coming through, but I think it, it also helps with a little bit of the sweetness. So it balances out. It's not, like I said, it's not overly sweet, but I, the actually the, uh, um, the oak is there, but it's not uh, overpowering anything. A little bit of a vanilla still in the, in the, in the mouth and a little bit of a, of a red apple coming out as well. And then I also get a little bit of a nice caramel toffee note coming out. And again, hint of the sweetness. This is a really well balanced whiskey, even at the blended one. On the second sip, I did get a little bit more oak. Even now, um, the oak is... Uh, is still the same for me. It's not something that's building up. It's it's actually very nice. The only criticism that I do have, the 42% ABV. It does feel a little bit on the thin side, weak side, a little bit watered down. A little bit of a shame, actually. So, one more try. But it is nice. I think this is something that you can buy. You're not going to sit and savor it for an hour, nose it for an hour, have to let it sit in a glass for 20 minutes before it opens up. Something that I'm not definitely not going to put water in it. But you just pour it and you drink it and you and you'll be happy with uh, with the choice of whiskey for the evening. So on the finish, the hint of everything is there. The hint of the sweetness is there. A little bit of a caramel note coming out. A little bit of an apple note coming out. A hint of a oak coming out, and then a little bit of a tannin in the in the right at the end. But it is really well balanced. So my thoughts, I do like it. I think this is a no BS whiskey. You buy it, you drink it, and it will make you a happy person. And it, I think it's quite a good value for money as well. If you can get this one, I'm not sure um, in my online store, I could still get a bottle and around 35 euros. Um, I'm not sure what the, the new bottle is going to be. Do I still make a bottle in this uh, uh, um, uh, name? I'm not sure, but I will definitely find out. 
Um, I did buy some other samples of the Armorik and I will be looking at them in the next couple of days. So definitely recommend it. Tell me what you think about it. Have you tried it? Is it something that you would recommend to your friends? Um, let's talk whiskey. Leave a comment. Tell me your experience. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. We made 250 subscribers, so it's going up closer to the 1,000. So see you next time. Cheers.